guys, I'm doing a follow up again here on this uh, brush hog. Uh, I got the uh, PTO shaft off of the bearing here. Right, and um, she's in good shape, that bearing. She's nice and tight. And um, no problems with that at all. I'm going to take that plug out of there. I'm going to put some 90 weight oil in there. Um, I don't think there's going to be any problem with that at all. Uh, just got to clean her up and lubricate it. Um, one of the reasons why I'm doing this follow-up video is because of the shaft. Um, I wasn't even aware actually until it was brought to my attention um, by a couple of different guys that it was a two-piece shaft. Um, and this shaft, and I was really shocked to see that on YouTube there were no um, videos really about these two-piece shafts. Um, in particular, uh, how to free them up. Um, and they're frozen, which is a common thing. Guys use them, let the piece of equipment sit out for a long time, and uh, and they freeze one shaft inside the other gets frozen, and um, you know can't get it apart. So, um, anyways, this was frozen solid, could not move the stem thing at all. So what I decided to do was um, I hung the entire thing from the come along up there, in the tree. By the bottom of the uh, shaft here, I put the the um, chain around here and hung the entire unit. So all the weight was pulling down on that shaft. And um, then I used uh, our, our home uh, concoction here. My brother's a retired mechanic, um, 35 years, and um, this is uh, his old home concoction here of uh, tranny fluid, Marvel Missy Oil, and brake fluid. Um, all three mixed together and uh, you put them in any spray bottle at all and uh, that's all there is to it. And you got your spray lubricant. You don't have to go buying uh, dust, uh, Rust Buster or WD-40 or any of that other stuff that costs five, six, seven dollars a bottle now. Um, so I kept soaking the hell out of that and tapping it. You got a picture of this thing suspended in the air totally. Uh, soaking it, tapping it, soaking it, tapping it, and um, I left it hanging like that. Well, it was over working on one of the other tractors, and uh, you can imagine. All right, luckily, I used my head, and I only had it about a foot off the ground, and uh, suddenly, the whole thing just let go, and it dropped right to the ground, and um, that was it. I'm telling you, that home remedy that my brother uh, taught me about. I'm sure you guys all probably have your own home, own home remedy, but uh, it's just incredible. It works so good. And uh, that's it. Working it up and down now, trying to loosen it up more. Pull it all the way out. So that's what the shaft looks like when it's apart. And uh, there was no water in there. I was, I, was, I was happy to see that. There was no water. Um, this was laying uh, horizontally, so water wasn't able to get in it, and was covered with a tarp. So um, there's not terrible rust on there, and uh, no water inside there. So it was really just uh, gunk and grime and uh, you know condensation holding it together. And um, I was fortunate enough, uh, I just kept soaking the hell out of it and occasionally gave it a couple of wraps with the hammer. Um, up and down on the shaft, up and down on the shaft, I'd reach in and give it some wraps. I was actually afraid of the darn thing falling on me. And um, like I said, I was uh, working on the tractors over there and uh, I heard the big bang. She let go and she dropped right down. So uh, what I was hoping would happen, happened. The weight of it suspended from the come along. Just let it drop. So um, that's the story. And that's what my shaft looks like. My two piece slide shaft. Okay, fully. Uh, and uh, so, we're one step closer. One step closer here to this uh, disassembly, anyway. Um, but anyway, like I said, I was surprised to see there wasn't anything on YouTube about uh, freeing up these frozen shafts. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd throw a quick video on there. Um, 
and uh, introduce you guys to um, our little home remedy here. Um, you know, a lot of guys have told me they've used the tranny fluid and the brake fluid together. Uh, I guess my brother, you know, he's old school, and the Marvel Mystery Oil is one of the very first uh, additives ever came out, and uh, so he always throws a little bit of lead in there. I think it's just a mind over matter. You don't need that stuff, but um, like I said, you put it in any spray bottle, and I always keep a bottle of it lying around here. That's what I use in all rusted bolts and everything else. So uh, really happy got that shaft apart. This is one less thing I got to worry about with this, and uh, get the oil inside that uh, that gear head there, and um, we'll move forward with this. So. That's it guys, just wanted to get updated on this, that I got it apart, appreciate the advice from all you guys about this shaft in particular, uh, you opened my eyes to this, I really uh, was not aware of it at all, you know, and uh, it was foolish of me not to be actually, because I've worked on sliding shafts like this on trucks, that's for sure, so, um, anyways, that's the way it is guys, there's a formula for you, our homemade rust buster, okay, and uh, you guys might want to give it a shot, okay, thanks for watching, welcome Daniel.